Well, hello there and welcome to a new video all about laminating stickers. I'm also going to be talking about a hack that I learned if you're getting on your Cricut machine, cannot read sensor marks after laminating. So if you're just here for that hack, I'll have a timestamp on the screen now and you can just skip ahead to that part. But first I'll be demonstrating how to laminate your stickers with these Avery laminating sheets. In my first sticker making video, if you've seen it, you might remember I was using a roll of laminate and I get a lot of questions about laminating and I do not recommend using the roll anymore because it was just way more difficult than it needed to be. I then found this 50 pack of Avery laminating sheets on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description box below. And as you can see, they just come in single sheets. So it just makes the whole process a lot easier. And yeah, let's start the demonstration now. Okay, so for today we're gonna be using my new Shelly May and Gelatoni designs. I just printed these out on vinyl sticker paper. The first thing you wanna do is just make sure there's no dust or any type of particles before you start laminating. You're also gonna need some type of straight edge. This is my favorite because I can just get a good grip on this part. And now we're gonna grab one of our Avery laminating sheets. That's the front side that'll be on your stickers. So turn it over to the back and you'll see a part that says peel here. So we just crack that open by folding it and we peel this strip away. You lay it down flat and then you take your sticker sheet. You're just gonna lay that flat on top of this. Okay, so make sure it's nice and flat and just press. You wanna make sure it's as flat as possible. You don't want any bubbles and this is what's gonna prevent that. Okay, now we can flip it around and this little bit of the laminate that's sticky you can stick it right to the table you'll be working with. Press that down so that it sticks. And then we take this sheet and just push it just a little bit like that so that you get some of that to peel off. Now it's curled on the edge right there. Then you're just gonna take your straight edge and push. So see on this side how this is curling up now? You can hold on to this with one hand while you push with the other to just make sure you're getting all the bubbles out of there as you go. Once that other end sticks, you're not gonna be able to really push the bubbles out very well. So keep that, this back part lifted a little bit and just slide it down. You can do another few slides just to make sure. If you have an Ikea table that you're doing this on, be very careful when you peel this because I've actually taken paint off of another I little Ikea table that we had with laminate. All right, so now if you're cutting these out by hand, you can just go ahead and do that or stick it onto your Cricut mat and that's what we're gonna be doing next. Okay, now what I like to do is just stick the laminate sheet just like this straight on to the Cricut mat. I used to cut the edges around it first, but you don't even have to do that. You can just peel it all off when the Cricut is done. All right, now as you can see with this laminate on here, you get a pretty bright sheen and sometimes your Cricut will have trouble picking up these lines because of that and you'll get an error that says cannot read cut sensor marks. 
So there's a hack I found. Actually, someone on Instagram saw me putting Sharpie lines on here with a ruler when I posted to a story and recommended this tape. It's called Scotch Matte Finish Magic Tape. You can get it on Amazon, I'll have links below. And basically this has a matte finish, as it says, and you can just take some of that and put it over those lines. And I mean, it's also like an extra step that can be annoying. Um, but it's not as annoying as drawing lines with Sharpie every time. And you can peel the tape off and use it on your next sheet. In my Homsto sticker review that I posted right before this, I talk about how I won't have to laminate my stickers anymore because of their paper being waterproof and nice and glossy. So if you want to switch brands of paper, go check out that video. I'll have links to it up in the corner over there. But if you're already laminating and just want to stick with this process, this tape is a lifesaver. All right, let's go stick that in our Cricut machine. or fix that annoying error on the Cricut machine, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more tips on how to run an online art and stationery shop. I'm also wanting to do more travel journal videos. I used to make them a lot before and I have a lot of footage of our last trips through Asia and Europe still, so let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in seeing. I might just leave it as unlisted. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.